that last table, I got interrupted. It was my daughter. She's having set us with her cancer uh, medication. It's causing her to have nightmares, which I was going to go into that the anesthesia caused me to have nightmares. And I mean, when that happens to you, it's horrible. And she is having severe problems with her feet, smell swelling and constipation and everything with this medication. So anybody who feels led of God to pray, I would appreciate your prayers. For I know that God is able. And that's why I was trying to tell people that you need to resist the enemy for yourself off of your body. You need to know how to do that. And when he first started training me into that, uh, he told me to, uh, when I couldn't hold out any longer against the enemy, he said, take the medicine and then come back with a vengeance and let him know that he's going to have to keep his hands off of you. When you're feeling better, do that. And I would do that exactly the way the Lord said so that, so that I could accomplish his will. But it wasn't just a matter of that. I had to, I had to resist the enemy for everything. So when I started having heart trouble, and I hope this helps you, I really do. When I started having uh, heart trouble, my heart rate would go up to 199 and 225. And the temptation to think that you were going to die would be, in the beginning, very great. It would be, you know... Uh, you would think, oh, this is going to kill me because it's my heart. But the Lord taught me and he taught me, well, do not go there. Fear will. It can't kill you if you let it. Do not be afraid. So I would have to stand there and resist the fear, resist the devil causing the fear. And then when I would feel death come, I would have to resist that death and say, no, I belong to Jesus. You can't kill me. I'm not going to die. God has appointed my time of death. Nobody and nothing else can do that. And he would have to flee. And I'm just explaining to you that if you resist the devil, he will flee. Now, if God decides that he wants you to go and you're not listening to him and you're disobedient, you can pray till doomsday. And what's going to happen is God's going to have his way no matter how you pray. So if you're disobedient and you're living like a demon out of hell and you think you could take these principles and they are going to work for you, you're dead wrong. You'll be worse off because you will know the truth and won't obey God. So I'm just telling you, these people who have their medication who are very rich and they have all this medication and they think that because they're still alive and they still don't have this problem, they still don't have that problem, they are trusting in medication. They are trusting in the things that scientists have made up, scientists have done. And some of them, they even trust in that medication to kill other people. And, and this is the thing that you need to know and understand. They've been doing this stuff for years. Uh, they, you think that they didn't know that uh, they were going to feel overpopulated. There were too many people in the world. Why do you think they come and invade other countries like ours? It's not just a dumping place. It's, it's because they are overpopulated and they want to get rid of them. So what do they do? They dump them here. And the foolish let them in. The, and I would say they're worse than foolish. I would say they're wicked. They're evil. They let them in. Because they figure it this way. If the drug cartels come in, if there, more people will get raped, more people will get murdered, more, pe more drugs, more everything, and you'll kill each other off. You will kill each other off and we won't even have to worry about it. And so you'll, they'll kill the good people. They'll kill, tell you what they're thinking. This is where it goes. I'm not naming any particular name saying to you that this is what they're thinking, but I'm saying that when you release all of this into a nation, what do you expect to happen? How in the world can you vote for somebody that is going to do this to your family? That's not going to care one bit. They've proven it. When they give all of the things and all the benefits to those who come here illegally that they know are in things that they shouldn't be, what do you think they're doing? They don't need an army to come here and destroy you. All they have to do is send that invasion. 
All they have to do is send money and support it. That's all they've got to do. They don't have to do nothing else.